Hello guys, welcome back to a quick video here today. So we're going to be showing you how to actually create a Zlist or XLS wallet. And mostly just because there's a lot more support for it coming along lately. And the only support that we haven't really seen is for the wallet side. So we have minor support and pool support. And there will be a video coming out probably within the next 10 or 12 hours after this on how to mine it with overclocks and stuff like that on the network. But the main thing that this video is for is to create a wallet address. So I figured I'd make this before that and then I can link back to it within that video. So it does have to be through the command line on Windows. So it's not going to be one of those wallets that you can just load up normally like an Alephium or Casper. It does have to go through the Windows command line. So I'm just going to be showing you just the quickest and easiest way to actually do that. So everything that I used here will be linked in the description below. So we have the GitHub for the project. You click on the blockchain part and then we're looking for the latest mainnet release. So 1.10.0 is what we have right now. And then this is going to be on Windows, but you can do it on Linux as well. All you have to do is click here. It's going to download as you can see at the top there. If we click into this, we can see PC, Windows, G and U. So we'll take that off. And as you can see right here, it's in our Windows PC right here. So we want to actually extract that and it should give us files that look like this. And then it should give you a bunch of these files. So one thing I do want to know, all these files will not be in there. They only go in once you start the application. For example, if I go back to downloads, click on this and double click in here, you only have these files. So you actually have to start the daemon and the node first to get all the rest of the files. So to start the actual node, which is going to gain you access to the wallet, all you have to do is right click. All you do is new. You could either do text document or rich text document. You go into here and you change this into dot B A T. So that's going to give us our batch file. If you change the file extension, you'll become unusable. So we can change it there to bat. And then normally if this doesn't show up, like you can edit the end ones, you have to click on here and click on file name extensions to make sure that you can actually edit these. And then once you're in here, you right click edit and all you want to type in and I'll leave it in the description is xls underscore daemon dot exe and then and then two dashes and allow boost sync. So I'll leave this in the description. As I said, this is what you need to put in for running the node before you can actually get a wallet address. So this allow boost sync is just going to do a quick sync instead of a long sync on the network. And it's basically going to make it way quicker. Mine did it in about 25 minutes overall to get everything synced up. So then you click exit and save. Remember it has to be a bat file for it to actually work on this. So all the bat files do is just direct your computer to start a program and then it gives it commands. All you have to do is double click on the text document that you just had, as it says there, XLS daemon allow boost sync. Mine's pretty much synced already, so it's going to do this within maybe one or two minutes. But it should look a little bit like this, as you can see right there. And this just gives you the number. So if it's at zero to 133,000, then you're not really that close. But if it's close, then you should be synced up pretty quickly on the network. So we can only create a wallet address once this is synced because it's going off this node. So we have to wait for it to sync fully up before you can actually create a wallet address and start mining to that wallet address. As I said, there will be a video later on in the day, probably talking you through how to actually mine the coin. So now once your node is fully synced, we can actually get onto the wallet file. So you won't need to exe this in. You can just double click on the wallet file if you want. The only reason that we used a batch file was to allow the boost sync so it would be quicker on the computer. So once you have your node running open right there and it has fully synced, mine is about two minutes off fully syncing. Once it has fully synced, you want to double click on the wallet file. So just double click and it should bring up basically this. Now I already have a wallet, but what you're going to want to do is just type in create and then click enter and that will create a new wallet for you. I'll show you how it works now. So once you have created a wallet, it will give you a password to choose wallet name and a seed phrase. So to get up our wallet, we would click open 
and then wallet name so whatever wallet name it saved as so ss on ours password and there we have reading pre-compted wallet file and it's loaded up so we have 1.9927226 zealous in the wallet this is at the top height of 134,000, so basically synced up with the node now. So that basically lists only the balance. So to actually get the wallet address for my name, we actually need to input another command, which is display address, as we can see right here. And then we click enter. And here is our address. So let's open this up. So here's our address that we can copy and use for mining. Now you can also do all of these available commands. So help, version, exit, change password, transfer. So if you want to transfer it to a different wallet, you would just go like that and click enter. And then it's going to ask you what address you want to actually transfer it to. Same with all of these. You can display the balance, the history, rescan it. You can show the seed phrase if you want and other things like that. So that's how you get your wallet address, seed phrases, all of that for Z-Links. Hopefully they do come out with a more fleshed out wallet, so a GUI wallet that we can actually use for more usability. But if you're just looking for a wallet address right now for mining, then this is probably the easiest way that you do it. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.